Hi, I'm Dr. Akshata Singh. I'm a breast oncosurgeon and I work at Narayana Health City in Bangalore. Uh, a quick update about luminal A. Um, there's a recent trend where everybody is talking about uh, different types of breast cancers and luminal A has, you know, I somehow feel that there's not much information or there's not much interest in luminal A breast cancers. Um, about maybe two decades back, there was groundbreaking research which actually told us that all breast cancers are not the same and they can be divided into different types depending on something called as receptors. Um, essentially receptors are like handles that you see on the surface of doors and you can have um, you know uh, receptors on the surface of um, cancer cells. You can have thousands and thousands of receptors and some of these receptors that we check in breast cancer go by the name of you know estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor and HER2 receptor. And the presence or absence of these receptors help us classify breast cancers into different types. Um, not only do these receptors help us figure out what sort of treatment can be given to the patient. Um, for example, can we give the patient hormone therapy? Can we give the patient targeted therapy? Um, or do we only have chemotherapy in our uh, you know, arsenal of treatment? Um, but these receptors also help us figure out how is the patient going to do. And over the years, what's happened is um, there's been so much information about triple negative breast cancers, which as the name suggests, you know, all these receptors are absent. Or maybe HER2 amplified breast cancers where the HER2 receptor is present on the cancer cell. That somehow I feel that, you know, we don't talk enough about luminal A breast cancers. Uh, they are nice breast cancers to begin with. Um, they, they tend to do well, um, you know, on, the, in, on a long term basis. And um, uh, there is a lot of, you know, upcoming data for um, these sort of cancers as well. Uh, Initially, what used to happen is if uh, patients who had luminal A breast cancers, if they came to us in stage four, all we had was hormone therapy to offer them. Uh, but that's not the case anymore. Now we have more and more data about what are called as CDK4-6 inhibitors, which can be given to these patients. Um, there's also some amount of introduction of these same CDK4-6 inhibitors for patients who have already undergone surgery. And, you know, we end up finding that there's a lot of high risk disease for them. There's a lot of disease which doesn't look good. Um, so then apart from, you know, hormone therapy, you can and give this treatment as well. Uh, there's, there's upcoming data about uh, um, you know ovarian suppression that is added to whatever we knew about it earlier. So um, I think this is a very exciting, exciting branch. This is something that uh, uh, is evolving even now. And uh, I'm sure our patients with luminal A breast cancers will uh, continue to do well. And um, I have great hope for these set of patients. Thank you.